Now it's time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Well, Mr. Fix-It's back talking about smelling up your basement. Hello, Lou. Day on a Friday. It's a big holiday weekend. What do you got, like a sunburst shirt on there? I, you know, I, no, I'm I'm nestled between the sun coming through the window. Oh, and so if I go this way. Oh, oh I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. Very so I'm blocking the thing. Well, it's good that you're working to because then I have time to uh, tune up the Wave Runner before you uh, open it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's talk about, you know, with this weather uh, that we've had, the rain and the humidity, your stinky basements, uh, you may have that musty smell. And, you know, obviously you want to keep the basement as clean as possible and, um, you know, vacuum and, and carpeting and the furniture can be areas where you get a lot of absorption of that moisture that that's down in there. And I do have a couple of solutions. The very first thing is if you're fortunate enough, like in this basement to have a window, when it's cool enough outside, like it has been, open those windows up and let's get some fresh air. And the other thing I would do is take a small fan and put that uh, down in the base, the, the bottom of the floor to just circulate some air across the room. So a couple windows open, we've got some cooler weather that can be a huge advantage. That really costs nothing to do. Now, there are these odor, grabbers or you know i guess you would call them odor neutralizers so along with that fresh air this is one by a company called smells be gone they make these gels they have different scents this one is a citrus i'm not a huge fan of this odor and adding odor this is a product that's been around for a long time, very effective, called Fresh Wave. That when you first open it, it has a little bit of a pine scent, but uh, then it doesn't. These are cool. Moisture Grabbers by Concrobium and then Damp Rid. These are these packets and a device that you'll place into the basement area and that little sack will absorb the moisture. And this thing will puff up and get really hard after about a month and then you toss it. I really like hanging them. So if you've got a hanger and you can put a clothespin because the more airflow around it really does help absorb that moisture and it doesn't smell or anything like that. Now this damp rid has like this giant hockey puck and that little reservoir you see at the bottom, you place this hockey puck in that uh, spot right there and then you put the cap on and it just naturally with the airflow kind of looks like there's a fan but there's not. That little reservoir at the bottom, after you know a couple of weeks will be full of water and then you drain it. And finally, we need to handle any mold or mildew that you have down in there. Uh, this is a wet and forget indoor disinfectant, that mold armor, and then that mold control in the front. Take a look in your basement in areas that you don't go see. Maybe where you have you know stuff stacked in the corner. You wanna move that and then you go look, you're like, oh yeah, there's some mildew and mold back there and that can be originating some of the odor in the space as well. With this mold control product, you just spray it on and on contact within about an hour, it will kill any mildew and mold and then you just let it dry. And then finally, dehumidifiers. These are something that really are effective. I like the option of buying one that has that hose connection that you see right there. You can put it on the end and then it doesn't matter how many pints or how big it is because it just constantly drains it. If you have a floor drain and you're fortunate enough to do that, let that thing run 24 seven. And what we're trying to do is get the humidity level down in the basement below 50%. And if you do all of these things, it should smell a lot better. Lou, thanks a lot. And uh, in some free time, you might want to hang some pictures on the walls. They look a little bare. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Get going. I like all the, I, well, the one right here, I think there's one of Robin, right? No, oh, never mind. <laughs> you guys go do your thing. Have a lovely holiday weekend. You too, Lou. Thanks so much. You can check out Lou House Smart Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. He's also on WGN Radio, House Smart's Radio, every Saturday morning, 6 to 10. <laughs> hey, Paul.